G'day, blonde fellas back again, doctors, watches and clocks, and here we are with Jimmy's 6217, finally, I um, picked up a good value actually, I picked up a weak data, 6218 I think, on auction, should get a load of this for 30 bucks, rips in order. So, we've had issues with the balance on Jimmy's, and this is the one off the one I just bought. It's plodding along beautifully. So now we can finally put this guy to bed. Okay, so now it's been that long in the cupboard, and I've been through so many movements trying to get this thing going. I even come to the point where I modify a 6309 to put in it. But there are, with this, we, this is a um, world timer and the minute cog is back to front. Instead of being a little post here for the minute cog, it's a hole and the minute cog goes in the hole. This is why we can't do anything. I was nearly going to destroy our base plate of a 6309 and try and replicate this because the rest of the watch is standard sort of stuff except for this so now we got the balance because I had trouble trying to find a balance for one of these things but now I've got one finally and I jumped on it like air on a grill or on the auction from New South Wales or over east somewhere but I got it and now we're going to Finish this off for Jim. Get it in the mail for him. Because he's hanging out for his watch. Got to make sure that dot's in the centre of the screen. Because that keeps me on tack, see? Right. Let's get on with it. This side's all done up. It just needs automatic put on it. We'll put that on last. In the meantime, we'll get this old girl happening. Right, now like I say, I don't know what parts are what in here, but we'll figure it out as we go. First thing's the easy bit, is the winding stem. And as you can see, it's a particular winding stem. Because it's got this extra cog, which works the um, world time. Now first of all, what I want to do is just drop, put a drop of oil on all that. That's enough. Just a smidgen. And we can get the clutch out. And put that in there. things. I've got to remember how all these other things work. I don't know whether that's part of it. That's definitely not part of it. That spring is a part of it. It goes in there. This is a part of it. Because that goes up there somewhere. First of all, I better put that minute wheel in see he sits in there see how it's got that little post at the bottom all the other minute wheels are back to front, but he sits just in there. All right. Now, what else have I got that's going to go in there? I need this because he goes around in there. Get all this keyless works happening. 
And this is the bit I've been looking for. This is a finer point tweezers. She was the right way around in the first place. Let's get rid of him before I lose him. He goes in here somehow. Might need to have something else to go on it. Where's my pointy stick? So he goes on in, clips in there. So he must go in there. Hark it, I know what we're missing. Where is it? There it is. That guy there, we'll take him off and put him on. There's that little post you press to release. Should that have gone on before? There you go. What do I tell you? Damn. I'm going to pull the other side apart now because this should have gone in at the other side. It's like I say about screws, guys. Got to make sure you got your screws right and you also got to make sure you got your so that sort of put a stop to all this at the moment because I can't go any further until I get this on because everything's built over the top of it. So now I've got to put all this back in the tray where I say meticulously took it out, put it out ready for work. I've got a, the crown can stay in because I've now got to turn it over crown fell out so did the clutch I suppose yeah you see that lever goes in there underneath the top plate so for me to get that little bastard in I've got to take that, that and all this off. I've got to basically strip the bugger down to nothing again. Unless maybe, I don't think so though. It's got to go in there. I don't think we're going to be so lucky, you know. <sighs> you little fart. So because of this, because I forgot this, I'm going to pull this down now. So I'm not going to do that on camera, I'm just going to do it. I'm, that way I don't have to worry about you guys watching. I'll just rip into it, fix it and come back. See, I've just shoved it to one side. And this went in where? Went in there. See that? That's where it belongs. All because of that, I had to do all this. Now I'm hoping this all goes back on without an issue. I'm hoping. Yeah, you prick. I've got to take the pallet off balance off so I can get through underneath there because that's not fitting under there either. Bugger. I'll be back guys. I don't, that didn't take long. Ten minutes. All gone again. Wasn't that much of a back flip but we learnt there. 
and it's a good lesson for you guys to be, uh, be aware of what we're taking out because of that little thing then to go do it all again so back on track Now let's get back to where we were. Let's see, we need the crown out. We need the clutch. So let's put him in now while we can. We got the crown and we got the clutch wheel. Clutch. Put him in. Whoops, miss. Come on. There we go. Now we can put this little guy in. He goes over there and with me pointed stick. See? All good. Now we want this guy back again. It's not him. He goes in elsewhere. He might not even go in here. He might be the... Yeah, you see, here's the... Here's the standard. Good example. See, here's the standard minute wheel, right? See how it's got the hole down the guts? Whereas this one hasn't. Because if you look on the back, it's got this little post which goes in the hole. See, it's back to front, you see? And he goes in like that. That's because the minute wheel not only has to... Normally the minute wheel turns the hour wheel and the minute wheel, right? Whereas this has now got to turn, it's got this little extra cog on top and it's got to turn the world timer. So that's a bit of surplus. Now, we're back in business. As soon as I can get that on there, which fits over there, Try and do this one-handed. There we go. And the spring went in there. Making sure you're in camera so you can see all the minute detail fiddly bits. There she goes. That's in. Very good. Now this went in over top of that. Not bad from memory, is it? Haven't referred to anything yet so far. So that went in over there. Now I need a little screw to go on that. Where's that little screw? There's one. Is that a little enough screw? I don't think a little screw went in there. No, it was a bigger screw. Might have been that one. Here's hoping I've got the right screws so I certainly don't want to pull this again so I can change screws, you know. Right, so now all that works well. I 
think it does anyway. So far, so good. Right, where else are we at? We've got this guy here, which went in there, I'm positive of it. Actually, before I put him in, I better put this on bits of junk in there where's my red coat going dip it in the red coat just to clean the end okay there we go now he can go on He goes on in there. I think I've got to take that screw out because there's stuff to go in there. Screwdriver, send a boy, man, you do a boy's job, eh? And that loosened everything off. Not irreparable, I hope. And then we've got this to go in there. This is the retainer that holds all that together. Then this screw goes in. Okay. And there we go. That's it. Something missing. Clutch isn't geared. Oh, here it is. That's the guy. There it is. That's what I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to see. Just had to pull it a bit harder. Put a bit of weight behind it. Right, eh? We're looking good looking good you know just by the by while we go any further this guy the Joa Joasa nice style well unfortunately I can't finish it guys I've killed it oh look at that everything's fallen out I killed it My little blurb at the bottom of all, every video nowadays saying, like Bun Special does, he says no watches were harmed in the making of this video. Well, none were harmed in mine, but shit does happen. What happened putting this back together, I broke the screw in here. So now in the bar main spring barrel, I've got a broken thread, which I've got to get out. And this guy has got a broken pin. They're so touchy, these fellas. So this has gone to um, spare parts, which I might be able to. I'm hoping, remember the buller? I'm hoping the pallet fork will fit this. And then we can get this going. Or maybe even... That's a bit small, you reckon? Yeah, it won't fit. But I'm hoping the parts out of that might get the buller going. But then the buller's got a broken balance wheel too. Mm. Anyway, that's the story on that, unfortunately, guys. So I won't be putting up any more of the um, Joshua, whatever. Unfortunately, that's what happened. 
So let's get back to this guy. I've got junk falling out of the Joshua all over the joint. So yeah, so that's all spare parts. So we're back to this guy. Where are we? Dang, dang, dang. What do we got in here now? We've got this guy here, which is the click spring for the date wheel. Is he or is he the click spring for the something else? Let's get... that guy working let's get him in there whoops where'd he go trying to look through his lobe at the same time let's get him in there that's the date changer wheel for everything else and then we've got here comes the all the different parts we've got the standard hour wheel and then we've got the see that that's the only difference between the day see that is turned by this other little cog up top here see and that's the um, world timing cog I'm not too sure where he goes yet I've got a spring here which belongs to the don't change it. I've got a lot of screws here. We've got this guy. Where does he go? He went in here somewhere. Pretty sure he went in there to hold that in. Where's my pointy stick? Pretty sure he went in there. That's where he went. Then we need a little screw for him. Lots of little screws here. I've got this thing here, which goes on the top. Let's put him in there. I've got plenty of those little screws. What's that? That's a big screw. It's refreshing when a watch goes together as it should. It's refreshing to know that I know where everything goes. Off the top of my head. Right, that's the keyless works together. Now we're going to get the rest of it together. So what else have we got in there? I've got a cap jewel. I've got a cap jewel cup. That's to the automatic wine. That belongs after the I've got a cap jaw housing. I've got a screw with a... What's that go to? That belongs to something. I don't know how that goes. This is a bastard to set up that. So that's about all I need at the moment. I've got to wrestle this. This is what's got to wrestle. See, it's not... This most secure little bloody thing to put together just clips over there and then this that's what holds it together up there but I think I need the date wheel in to get this on so I'll get the date wheel I had a few in there, I don't know which one was which. So I might just leave him for a while. Let's get the date wheel on. Is this the one? I 
We've got another one in the bucket. See, this goat wheel is plastic and this one's steel. I think you'd rather have the steel one rather than the plastic one, eh, hey, Jim? Let's put the steel one on. It's probably the one that belongs to it. The steel one will fit. There we go. Alright. Now this little thing. If I can get at it. If I can pick it up belonged in here somewhere and then we had this went over the top of all that okay let's take him off because this other thing will show us where that goes show you the neat secret to figure out how to fix these things on if you don't know how they go there's two things you look at you need a little nick to be able to set this lever in the, the date clip and that's it here you see and then are you the right way around you don't know so you turn it around and see each little screw hole's got chamfers so you know this might be it here so this goes down like that you see perfect now before we get that on we've got to get the date clip spring on now because that goes around that way because that goes like that and holds it all in place does this belong to it because there's no real room for that that doesn't belong there it's just this I'm pretty sure so what I'm going to do is set that because that's got to hold in with this spring in place which is going to be quite some fun because if that date wheel moves everything's going to go everywhere I think my pointy stick's strong enough for this. Right, now let's get this plate on before that moves. screw in there let's get this one in that one doesn't even fit there let's try this one that one looks better let's get some weight on it so I can let that spring go holding that spring together
you're often probably wondering why I'm slow at aiming my screwdriver to the screw. Looking through this single lobe, which I'm still trying to get used to, it's hard to see general location, you know. Now you notice I discarded that screw because it was a thick head. We want it all to be flush, you see, because otherwise it'll foul up the date wheel, the day wheel. There. There's a screw there. Why is that? What am I missing? What am I missing? That's what this screw here is. It's got this little collar, you see that went in there. But what did it hold? Didn't hold anything. It doesn't even belong to this, but there's a screw that's supposed to be in there. For what? Hasn't got a date wheel, hasn't got a day. Has it? Where's the um, dial gone? I've got everything here, I've got everything out. There's the dial. That's alright. I thought we had a day wheel, but it doesn't. It's just a date. Beauty. So let's see how she works. See, this is a problem with having more than one watch bits. So that She's not doing a very good job at changing. Something's wrong. Something's holding her up. See how she jumps? Should have been something in here, but I haven't got anything to put in there. I've got no other parts. Let's have a look in the box, in the tin, what was in here. The only other parts I've got in here is the old pallet bridge. A few little screws. nothing there so let's have a look in here because I just recently cleaned the let's see that's got one of them I just recently cleaned that movement I bought Nothing in here either. So why is it not working properly? Why does it slip? Okay, gotta pull it down. Pull it down. missing I know where that little thing is now I went to all the trouble of getting that spring in we've got to release it no, it wasn't that hard to put in so it shouldn't be too hard to put back in again but I know what I'm missing yes indeed Sure that spring doesn't move. 
Right. You see this little thing here that I wasn't too sure belonged? I didn't think it belonged. Well, it does. It belongs there. You see? Belongs there, and that holds that down, but that doesn't excuse while the date wheel's not. I'm going to have to pull this off. There we go. We can get him back on. Easy enough. But why? Why is that? That's okay. I wonder if that affects it. I don't see why. And that goes in there. And one of these screws go in there. It's a bit big. No, that's not it. Needs a little one. As soon as I find the hole. about him I think. Yep. Right, he goes in there. That makes it more sturdier for that. But it still jumps. I'm wondering where this is worn. Yeah, that cog under there is warm, you know, I reckon. Let's have a look. I reckon that's worn. I saw it when I put it in. I thought, oh, that looks funny. This cog under here. If I can get it up. That guy. Let's get the one out of here. And compare them. Yeah, it could be worn a bit. Let's swap, eh? Where it went. There it is, it's in there. Let's swap just to see what happens. I reckon that's worn. Yeah. This one might have a little bit more meat on it than that one. Hopefully she won't jump around.
We won't know until I get this screw in. Okay. Now then, that's turning that no jump. Much smoother, look at that. That was, it was that cog worn. That cog was worn. So now she's working like a perler now. Much better. Put a bit of weight on it and see what happens. Yeah, look at that, no jump. Yep, that cog was worn, thought so. My deductive reasoning there. Let's get it back together, eh? Where were we? I can all go on later. Let me get him on. I get this little sucker, which is a real pain in the butt on. And then we get the tricky dicky. done this before didn't we let's see if we can do it again I need me pointy stick make sure you can see let's try them again Make sure everything's in there before I put the plate back on. Make sure the plate's the right way around. And drop him on. Right. Come on, turn over. See that? The hole's filled now with that screw. I knew I was missing something. There's still that other screw with a collar. I don't know what that went for. Might have been from another another watch. Now here comes a tester. Still jumps. Maybe you've got to be gentle with it. Maybe that spring is not strong enough. Maybe I put the spring in the wrong way around. It works that all right. I'm wondering if that spring in there is not strong enough. It does work, you just got to take it easy. You know? Just needs a bit more pressure on. Have I got the right springs in? Yeah, I've definitely got the right springs in. Maybe that spring should have gone there and that spring there. What do you reckon? 
pull it apart again. After you can't have that ripped and like that. I just swap springs over, I'll be back. Well, I, third time I pulled it down because it keeps doing it, but what I figured out, this keeps lifting every time it jumps. I found this, but I thought that might have been it, but it ain't. What I've deduced was this wasn't keeping enough downward pressure on this to keep it flat. So what I've done, you see that? I've put a little kink in the end of it. Now that might be a bit too much, I'm thinking. So I might just flatten it out a bit. Might be a bit too much. I only want a bit. That'll do. And I'll bet you, bottom dollar, this will fix it. Puts more downward pressure on it. To, um hold it flat because this and when I held that down it worked so this I'm pretty sure will solve our problem because it's put more pressure now on that there's no lift now it's got too much it's locked it in all together Let's take it off and give it a little bit more slack. Now she's working. Now what I'm gonna do is just take a bit more of a bend out of it because it's too much, too much. Locks it in too tight. We've got to have just so bend. Just take a bit more out. But I want some in it. Let's see how that goes. I want some in it. Here's a screw I lost. Still too much. wasn't enough, it kept slipping, I need more pressure. Bloody more flat again. See what that does. It'll be just so. That happy medium between tension and too much tension. 
just like that happy medium I've got at the moment. It's been out of camera for you guys for the last half hour. Let's see what happens here. Still too much tension. Try a dab of oil on it and see what happens. That's the best I can do. I'll get it back together now. Then we can call it squids. Whatever happens. Oh, you little prick. Where did that go? She's working much better now. She's a bit stiffy. But she doesn't jump anymore, which is good. So, we've got her together. Job to do now is... I think we'll put the... automatic on and then she's all ready to put the dial on why did that stop why is that stopping don't tell me we're going to have issues What have I done? It wants to work. Now if I used up all my little screws, I put the screws for this in the back, didn't I? It's not those guys. 
There is two left, but I need three. What have I done? Why is it stopping? What's the issue? I'm going to have to pinch some screws off the other. Watch. Why is it stopping? Going to have to investigate. Should I be putting this thing on until I find out why it's stopping? Possibly. It wants to go. But then it's not wanting. I'll just put one more screw in just to hold that down. I won't go as far as putting all three in in case I've got to take them off. But something's locking it down. What's holding it up? What's holding it up? Golly gosh. Bet you I'll put a screw in the back here that don't belong there and it's protruding through. Might be that one or is it that one? Something's in there stopping it. I'm going to have to pull that down and have a look, but not tonight. I'm going to put this up and we'll come back with another episode. Why is it not working? I bet you I'll put a screw in that don't belong and it's touching something under there. That's holding him up. One of these screws in the back here is too long. Can't be these ones. It might be that one there. Or it might be that one there, but I doubt it. it might be that tension. Something in there is in the wrong spot. We'll pull it down next episode. Have a look.